Today on Xboxer Briefs, we take a look at a crazy expensive Xbox game based on an early 2000s cartoon series. It's Shaolin Showdown. Let's go. <laughs> I decided to take a look at Shaolin Showdown not because it was exclusive, it's not, uh, and not because I have any association to the cartoon on which it is based, but because of the shocking discrepancy between the value associated with the PAL and North American versions of this game, so I had to figure out why. But first, what is Shaolin Showdown? Shaolin Showdown was a late-release Xbox game coming out almost exactly a year after the Xbox 360 in the States and in late June of 2007 in Europe. The game is based on the kids' WB show of the same name, which ran for three seasons, and again in syndication, sandwiched between episodes of Teen Titans, another Xbox game we'll talk about at some point on this channel, and Ben 10. You'll be playing the role of one of the four Shaolin Dragons in training, although this game does allow for four-player co-op, uh, it will computer control any unclaimed characters. Combat is tied to two buttons, combos can be executed by hitting those buttons in the specific patterns. Additionally, each character has a unique elemental affinity and can equip up to three Shengong Wu, which are special attacks that need to be fueled by pickups within the level to be used. These have a varied range, with some allowing you to hurt or stun enemies in close proximity, or serve as projectile weapons that can do long-range damage. As a team of four, you'll clear waves of enemies to obtain pieces of a map, then face off against boss enemies to progress the story. After a number of waves are completed, you'll trigger a Shaolin Showdown, and you'll compete against one of the villains in an arena-style minigame like King of the Hill, Hot Potato, or Tag. The gameplay in these segments feels a lot like some other Xbox games like the Arena Fighter Loons and the couch co-op party game Fusion Frenzy. On occasion, during the wave phase, special 2D levels will pop up symbolized by this yin-yang icon, giving you a chance to bolster your pickups and bring them back to the main levels. These become especially helpful with speed boosts and increasing your currency to purchase additional Shengong Wu between levels. Or, if you're feeling lucky, gamble your Shengong Wu with the chance to win one of your opponent's items. My only real complaint with the Shengong Wu is the friendly fire. Uh, for example, if you have a teammate use the Sword of Storms, you'll be held in place by a tornado for a stretch. This really drags out the game in single player mode as you entirely lose control of your characters until the power has expired. It's a weird design decision that could have dramatically changed the feeling of the game if they had made it optional, but overall, it's not broken. If you've got friends playing with you, you could try to coordinate uh, to minimize the impact of this annoyance. Visually, this game is really well put together. The cell shading is very crisp and feels as though you're watching an episode of the show. Uh, comparing the game to its source material, I don't know if you could get a more faithful interpretation of the cartoon. Characters are colorful and the voice acting is pretty close. My experience with the series, though, is really minimal, but overall, I dug the production value put into this game. There's still the issue of cost, and this is still baffling to me. With releases available on the Nintendo DS, the PSP, the PS2, and the Xbox, complete copies for most systems can be bought for less than $10 in both North America and PAL regions. But with this game being the final PAL release on the Xbox, and what I assume to be an extremely low print run, complete copies right now top $330 in the US. With the stock Xbox being region locked, there are potential workarounds. So if you happen to have a PAL Xbox and don't want to go through the process of buying an NTSC one just for Shaolin Showdown, I would encourage you to look into the potential for modifying or soft modding, both of which would remove the region lock. The cost of that and the NTSC version of the game would be far more affordable than buying the PAL version. And the question is, as a collector, does that really matter to you? While my initial curiosity with this game was rooted in a question of cost, I'm pleased to say that Shaolin Showdown is actually a pretty cool game. It's bright and colorful and the controls are fairly easy to get the hang of, so it'd be great for young players or people looking for a fun couch co-op experience. 
With the exception of the PAL version, the game is fairly affordable and is also backwards compatible with the Xbox 360 if needed. The game does a really good job of onboarding players unfamiliar with the source material, so don't let your inexperience with the cartoon be a detractor from this one. If you enjoyed the review, please like the video, be sure to subscribe and share it with someone who may be missing out on some of the great games for the original Xbox. I also stream some of my recording sessions that I use for these videos live on Twitch, and a link to my channel can be found in the description below. I hope to see you in the chat sometime soon. That should about do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.